Okay, now see this question. Uh, this is a question number 47 from H.C. Verma chapter number 18. The convex surface of a thin concave or convex lens of glass of reflect index 1.5 has radius of curvature 20 and the concave surface has radius of curvature 60. So uh, this surface has radius 60 and this surface has radius 20 centimeter. The convex side is silvered and placed on a horizontal surface. This side is silvered. Where should a pin be placed on the axis so that its image is formed at the same place? Okay, so first of all, we need to find the focal length of the convex lens. Okay, so let's draw the lens first. If we take this direction as positive, okay, if we take this direction as positive, then both the radii of the lens are negative. Okay, so uh, this is the center C1 of the first surface and this is the center C2 of the second surface okay so the radius is being measured in the direction okay so R1 over here R1 over here will be minus 60 centimeter R2 will be minus 20 centimeter so we apply lens makers formula 1 by f equal to n minus 1 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2 so n is what uh, the refractor index is 1.5 so 1.5 minus 1, uh, minus 1 by 60 minus 1 by minus 20. So we get 1.5 minus 1 is 0 0.5 or 1 by 2. We get 1 by 20 minus 1 by 60. Okay. So we will get 1 by F is equal to 1 by 60 centimeter. Okay. Or... Uh, let's just keep it like that only okay not needed to go further so this is the focal length of the lens right now this uh, lens is being silvered from one side so this will behave like a single mirror okay since i have silvered my lens from one side this will be equivalent to a concave mirror okay Right. Now let's say the concave mirror has focal length f dash. Okay, the concave mirror has focal length f dash. So I want to find f dash. Now one thing you should understand that total power of this system should be equal to power of this concave mirror. Okay. So I want to find the power of this uh, uh, lens plus mirror system and uh, uh, compare it with this one. So for that, what I do, I draw the mirror part and the lens part separately okay this is the lens part over here and this is the mirror part i'm drawing them separately right so combination of these two should give you this uh, equivalent mirror of focal length f dash right now for the lens we have calculated the focal length for the mirror over here for this mirror the focal length will be very simple uh, the radius of curvature of this part is how much radius of curvature of this part is 20 centimeter okay so this one has a uh, focal length uh, uh, 20 centimeter by 2 okay so that is 10 centimeter right now try to understand something when light is coming over here it is getting reflected that's why we are comparing it with the mirror right so when i draw it over here light is passing through this lens okay then passing through the mirror then getting reflected and again passing through the lens so the light has to pass through the lens two times and get reflected by the mirror only once so when you add the powers let's say that this lens has power p1 this is power p2 and this is power p so i will get two times p1 plus p2 is equal to p light is passing through the lens two times that's why i'm adding the power two times and it is getting reflected by the mirror only once so we have only one over here only one p2 over here okay so two times p1 is one by f plus uh p2 is what minus one by 10 centimeter is equal to p that is minus one by f dash power of mirror is minus of one by focal length power of mirror is minus one by focal length okay so 1 by f we have calculated 1 by f is 1 by 60 centimeter okay so 2 by 60 minus 1 by 10 equal to minus 1 by f dash so when you solve this you will get f dash to be equal to 
there's a small error i made the focal length of this convex mirror should be minus uh, 10 so here we get plus 1 by 10 okay uh, sorry it's a concave mirror right concave mirror has focal length minus 10 we should put in negative so uh, minus and minus will give you plus sign okay so f dash will be equal to minus 60 by 8 so this will be equal to uh, minus 7.5 centimeter because we are calculating everything in centimeter so now what is the question saying where should a pin be placed on the axis so that its image is formed in the same place so for a concave mirror if you place the object at the center of curvature or you place the object at 2f then you obtain the image also at 2f so since focal length over here is 7.5 centimeters so the object or the pin should be placed at 2f dash so that is how much minus 15 centimeter we ignore the minus sign we have to just uh, put the pin uh, 15 centimeter above the lens okay so now coming to part b part b should be solved in the same method if the concave part is filled with water find the distance through which the pin should be moved so that the image of the pin again coincides with the pin again so now we are filling water in the lens okay so when you fill the water so now since you have filled water now you have got one lens due to water okay this water will create another one lens and then we have already another lens and then we have the mirror so we have two lenses and one mirror so first of all we find the focal length of the lens created by the mirror uh, by the water so we need to calculate the focal length of focal length of lens created by water so this is a lens okay with one flat surface and one curved surface right and the curved surface is radius how much the curved surface is radius of 60 centimeter uh, sorry 20 centimeter yeah 60 centimeter correct right this surface is radius of 60 centimeter so we can say that r2 r2 in this case is minus 60 centimeter and r1 will be what infinity so 1 by f of water lens will be what n minus 1 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 lens makers formula so n will be 4 by 3 for water minus 1 1 by r1 so 1 by infinity minus 1 by minus 60 so we get f w equal to 180 centimeter okay now again the same thing we have to follow the same thing again okay so first we have the uh, lens due to water then we have the concave or convex lens and finally we have mirror they will behave like a single mirror okay of focal length f dash right this is fw equal to 180 centimeter for this lens we already calculated focal length it is 60 centimeter okay and this will have focal length how much this will have focal length minus uh, what was the radius of curvature 20 right so minus 10 centimeter okay correct so this is power p1 power p2 power p3 and this is power p so light is passing through first lens then second lens then through the mirror and getting reflected so light is passing through the lens two times through this lens also two times and getting reflected by the mirror once so 2p1 plus 2p2 plus p3 is equal to p so 2 by 180 plus 2 by 60 minus p3 is what minus 1 by minus 10 equal to minus 1 by f dash okay so you get 1 by 90 plus 1 by 30 plus 1 by 10 is equals to minus 1 by f dash so f dash will come out to be equal to minus 90 by 13 centimeter okay and therefore the question is asking uh, find the distance to which the pin should be moved so first of all we find the position of pin position of pin should be at 2 f dash only then the object and image will be coinciding 
okay object and image are coinciding only when the uh, position of our object is 2f dash so this is equal to minus 180 by 13 okay so that is equal to so that is 13.8 centimeter minus sign uh, we can ignore the minus sign it's not needed so much now in the previous part for the first part uh, the distance for the uh, position of pin was 15 centimeter right and now it is how much 13.8 centimeters so displacement of pin displacement of pin will be 15 minus 13.8 so that will be 1.2 centimeter towards the lens the pin should be moved downwards by 1.2 centimeter